Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. Sometimes you just want to level up fast in Star Wars The Old Republic, whether it's to see the amazing class stories or to get to max level quickly. In this video, we'll be going over how to level up fast using every tip and trick in the book. Heads up, you do not need to do any of these to enjoy the game. They're only for players looking to speed level. Most of these tips are going to be for experienced players making their next character. If you're new, leveling without any boosts is still quite fast. Number 1. Do only the purple quests. The purple quests, which will be your class quests, main planetary quests, and main expansion quests, will reward far more experience than any other type of quest in the game. Ideally, depending on how many types of XP boosts you have, you should be able to mostly only do the main quest lines and skip all the side quests. Number 2. Get a speeder early. One of the biggest speed hindrances to leveling is going to be getting around the map from quest to quest. You can get a speeder at level 10 as a subscriber or level 25 as a free-to-play player. If you'd like one sooner, you can either buy the improved speeder piloting one item from the GTN or the character perk of the same name from the Legacy panel which costs 40,000 credits and requires only Legacy level 2. You'll then be able to ride a speeder as early as level 1 once you get your hands on a speeder which you can also pick up from the GTN. Number 3. Get the Mount While Moving Unlock Speaking of spending credits, there's also a Legacy-wide unlock available in your other tab called Improved Mounting, available at Legacy level 8 which costs 2 million credits. This unlock allows you to mount while running, so you don't have to stand still and summon your mount while questing. It's quite expensive, but very useful on all of your characters. Number 4. Get the Rocket Boost Unlock Speeders only work in outdoor areas. If you want to move fast indoors, you can get the Rocket Boots Unlock, better known as Rocket Boost. It costs 2 million credits after reaching Legacy Level 8 or 400 Cartel Coins but it is legacy-wide for all your characters. You can find it in the other tab of your unlocks in your legacy panel. Although this is also quite expensive, it's probably the most beloved unlock in the entire game for both low and high level characters. Number five, unleash your inner quick travel. This is my personal favorite if you have the credits available. As you quest, you'll often find yourself far away from the main area where you started off and need to return there for a quest giver. Buying all three tiers of the Legacy Travel Legacy-Wide Unlock, found in the other tab of your Legacy panel, will reduce your quick travel time down to zero, so you can use quick travel as often as you want on all of your characters. Buying all three tiers costs 600,000 credits total. While expensive, it's worth it for both your high-level and your low-level characters. Number 6. Run away like a coward. If you're looking to level fast, you'll actually want to avoid fighting as many enemies as possible, as your quest will reward you with a lot more experience than casual combat will. If you're out in the open world, enemies will stop chasing you once you've gotten far enough away from them. So, if you don't want to fight them, just run through and hope for the best. You can charge in with your speeder, get knocked off and keep running, leaving your companion behind to fight off your enemies. Once you get farther away, you can set your companion to passive to bring them back to you. Just remember to turn the passive mode off before the next fight. Number 7. Spacebar to Victory If you don't care about the story, your spacebar is going to be your best friend. If you want to skip the cutscenes or just want to watch your favorite parts, you can use the spacebar to skip through cutscenes quickly and the one key on your keyboard to quickly select dialogue options. Number 8. Stealth is King Characters who have stealth available will have a much faster leveling process, as they can skip fighting a lot of weaker enemies by simply sneaking around them. When creating your character, keep in mind that the Jedi Consular Shadow, Sith Inquisitor Assassin, the Smuggler Scoundrel, and the Imperial Agent Operative get stealth at levels 5 or 6, and then get Force Cloak or Disappearing Act at level 22 which lets them stealth out during combat. You'll want to keep buying both of these so you can easily enter stealth before sneaking past the group and jump out of stealth once you're far enough away so you can move faster. Remember, ship travel is awesome. You can now easily travel between planets without having to return to the spaceport first. Click the icon of a swirling galaxy map near your minimap and then choose the planet you want to fly to. 
This is free once you have your ship, but there's also an unlock here that allows you to travel immediately back to your ship. Number 10, get a companion early. Although combat is quite easy at low levels, getting a companion early can help you speed through content by allowing your companion to fight while you run to the next objective. Naturally, you'll get your first companion partway through your first planet. Many other companions, like cartel market companions, can't be picked up until level 10. However, there are a few companions you can unlock early. The first batch are companions gotten through limited time rewards, including Master Ranos, Shea Fizzla, Paxton Ral, and Nico Carr. And if you earn them, they will already be in your mailbox on your new characters. There are, however, two companions you can get at level 1, which must first be earned on higher level characters. The first is Darth Hexed. To earn her, you must complete 40 activities through the group finder. Once she has been earned on one character, all other characters should get her through the mail, but it's been notoriously buggy. If she doesn't show up, you can also unlock her for all your characters through collections for a whole 10 cartel coins. Once unlocked, she can be summoned even at level 1 once you use her Sith Hall Communicator item from collections. HK51 is the second option. To earn him, you must first complete a long series of quests that start on Section X. Once you have earned HK51 for the first time through the quests, you can then pay 1 million credits, or 350 cartel coins, to auto-unlock him on each of your additional characters, so you do not have to repeat the quest line to earn him. If you unlock him on other characters this way, you can get him as early as level 1. You will need to send your fresh character some credits through your legacy bank or mailbox first. You'll have to pay this credit cost on every new character. As far as I can tell, there are the only two companions you can earn to use at level 1, but they take quite a while to earn in the first place. Number 11. Boost your companion. You can make your companion incredibly strong by boosting them up to influence level 50. Using a compendium is the fastest way and levels your companion to influence level 50 automatically. You can either get one of these compendium items in the stronghold section of the fleet for 3 dark projects plus 4.25 million credits, or buy them from the cartel market. Keep in mind, boosting your companion will probably make them even stronger than your character is as you level. The other way to boost a companion is to throw them some companion gifts. Number 12, pick up a portable trainer. If you've got a lot of credits, you can buy a Darth Melgus hollow statue if you're Imperial side, or a Satil Shan hollow statue Republic side, which will allow you to train your skills on the go as you level up instead of having to search for a trainer. You may have also unlocked the HUD trainer or a Senya hollow trainer from past subscriber rewards that you can use. Number 13, pick up a portable vendor. You can unlock a basic field repair droid at legacy level 5 in your character perks for 50,000 credits, which will allow you to quickly sell your junk items without having to look for a vendor or by sending your companion away. If you're rolling in credits, you can also get the Revan Hollow Statue item, which acts as a portable vendor and is useful for both high level and low level characters, especially if you unlock it through collections for all your characters. You can also use these vendors to repair your gear on the go. Number 14, get a portable bank or a stronghold. You can get a field personal cargo hold in your character perks for 1 million credits at legacy level 10, or the legacy bank version at legacy level 20 for 2 million credits. These pricey per character unlocks will allow you to dump any cool items or gear you pick up along the way into your bank without having to leave your quest area, but I wouldn't say they are worth the price unless you have more credits than you know what to do with. Another great option is to unlock a stronghold for all your characters. It can cost as little as 5,000 credits. That way, you can travel to your stronghold, dump your items, then use the exit area button to return to exactly where you came from as long as you haven't logged out in between. Number 15, join a guild. Just joining a guild gets you a 5% XP boost, and joining a larger one gets you a 10% XP boost. Depending on what guild perks your guild has unlocked, you may even get additional XP on top of that. Number 16, subscribe to the game. Subscribers automatically receive 20% more XP than free to play players and preferred players after level 20. Number 17, use an XP boost item. You can get experience boosts a few different ways. You can buy them from the TTN from other players or buy them from the cartel market. There are many different kinds and you can only use one at a time. A general experience boost is the most effective, but it's also the most expensive on the GTN. 
You can often find a class mission boost or exploration boost very cheaply. A minor version lasts one hour, a major version lasts three hours, but both boost XP by 25%. You may even pick up some of the general XP boosts for free as you level. There's the general experience boost, class mission boost, exploration boost, flashpoint boost, warzone boost, space mission boost, and starfighter boost, depending on how you like to play. Number 18, unlock the improved XP boosts in your legacy. At legacy level two or higher, there's a large group of XP boosts you can get in the character perks section of your legacy panel. These perks are per character and are not legacy wide. You can get character perk boosts for war zones, flashpoints, space missions, class missions, exploration, and galactic starfighter, much like the single use items. There are additional unlocks for each one at legacy levels two, three, five, seven, and 10, and each additional unlock boosts your XP in that category by 6% more at each level. If you're just running the main class storyline, the most useful are the class mission and exploration XP boosts. The first tier only costs 20,000 credits, while the final tier costs 100,000, so if you wanted to unlock those two tracks completely, it would cost you 550,000 credits and give you a 30% boost to both exploration and mission quests. While expensive, this is probably a good deal compared to buying XP boosts, as these unlocks last forever, unlock the item versions. And yes, you can stack these all up. Number 19, become a combat champion. If you're struggling to get through the actual combat side of leveling, you may want to check out my other video called Difficult Solo Fight Tips, which will walk you through things you can do to make combat easier as you level, including upgrading your gear or using things like Heroic Moment. If you aren't struggling in combat, you might want to try running your character in a damage combat proficiency and also have your companion in a damage role. If you can do that without dying, you'll be able to deal with groups of enemies quicker with you both damaging them down. And that's all my tips to make leveling fast and as smooth as possible, or how to just enjoy your class story without any minor distractions. There is, however, one more thing to talk about. The absolute fastest way to get a high level character is to use an Outlander token or a Master's Datacron. These are both items you can buy with credits from other players or with cartel coins from the cartel market. An Outlander token, now called a Commander's Character token, will let you create a character that starts at a high level, unless you jump directly into the later expansions by auto-completing the original class storylines. A Master's Datacron is an item you can use on an existing character that will boost them to a high level without affecting your storyline progress. All subscribers get a free Outlander token the first time they subscribe. If your goal is purely to get a high level character, these tokens are by far the fastest way, and you just need to complete the last five levels, which can be done fairly quickly by following the Purple Quest storylines. If your goal is to enjoy the class story as smoothly as possible, a Master's Datacron can help you quickly gain all your abilities, making you stronger and faster in combat, gives you access to more companion options, and gives you access to any of your abilities that make you faster, including speed boosts or leap abilities. I ran a test where I did the first planet on both a fully boosted character and compared it to a character that had no boosts, and in my opinion, these perks aren't significant enough to be worth purchasing a Master's Datacron for, and that starting at level 1 was just fine. The perks that I enjoyed the most while leveling in this fashion were the ones that helped me move faster, so getting a companion early, getting a speeder early, and letting me use my rocket boost and quick travel often. I hope these tips have given you a good idea of all the things that you can do to make leveling faster and smoother, whether you're trying to get to a high level quickly or if you're like me and just trying to enjoy the class story without any disturbances. If you've ever speed ran a character either to see the class story or to get to max level quick, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Tell me how did that go for you and what was your experience? If you want to show your support for this series or to have similar videos show up on your YouTube homepage, subscribe to this channel. And as always, may the force be with you.